Next is a recent discovery that has been life-changing and I don't say that lightly. Next is one of the best purchases I've ever splurged on which is a What's up guys? It's Nick. Today I'm gonna share my 7 condo living essentials that I've been using every single day in quarantine. And these have helped me stay motivated, productive, inspired, and we need all of that. And you know me, every single item in the condo, I make sure there's a function and a purpose. So if you're all about condo living, then make sure you like this video for the YouTube algorithm that helps me out. And also subscribe to my channel for more tips about adulting. And now let's get into the video. If you're like me, at sobra kang naiirita sa walis because it's just not enough to pick up all the dirt, especially like if you're a girl and you have hair falling everywhere, it's just a struggle to use a freaking walis, okay? Because of that, I super love using a vacuum. I've been holding off getting a vacuum because I, for some reason in my head, like it's expensive and I don't want to spend that much on cleaning equipment so thankfully my boyfriend gave me a vacuum as a gift and i was so happy like you know you're an adult when your boyfriend gives you a vacuum and you're so happy because it makes your life so much easier he bought it from shopee at a good price and surprisingly it's doing very well i think i've had it for over a year now and it's still working whatsoever it just blows my mind sometimes the great finds you can purchase on Shopee. So this vacuum just makes cleaning so much more fun for me. Like it's actually like a routine where I vacuum my floors while I'm listening to music. There's just something so satisfying with a vacuum sucking every piece of dirt and dust on your floor. It's like maybe also like sucking out and cleaning out all of the worries and stress and doubts in your life so it's kind of become very therapeutic for me to clean using a vacuum never thought one day i would say that but there you go <laughs> by the way if you are thinking about moving to a condo or planning to move out soon i do have a free guide below that you can download which includes the cost of condo living i hope that helps you out it's in the description box below next is one of the best purchases i've ever splurged on which is a blender it's super convenient because it blends on autopilot and you never worry about making a mess. I can easily throw in my fruits together, add soy milk, Greek yogurt, a little bit of honey, and it basically blends itself without me having to look at it. And it encourages me to get in fruits into my system because we need all of that. By the way, if you guys are curious about these products, I will do my best to find them online and link them in the description box below. Next thing. I would say I spend 80% of my time here, which is the chair right here, which is I'm sitting on, obviously. This is also one of the best investments I ever made in quarantine because I want my butt to be comfortable. It's not too much to ask. And I realized we do spend most of our time sitting now that we usually work from home, we usually do things from home, so I might as well be comfortable. And also makes me feel like I'm in my own office because my chair is legit, it looks legit. Hi, welcome to my corner office. How can I help you? Next is a recent discovery that has been life-changing and I don't say that lightly. So if you guys have been wanting to read more or you just want to get back into more reading, I highly suggest an e-reader. So I've been enjoying my Kobo Clara HD, which is this one because it can read all the ebooks files that you want versus the usual Kindle, which has quite a number of limitations. So this one, I feel like this is super, super solid because it can basically read 6,000 ebooks. I don't know if you can read that much books in a lifetime but it's just good to know that you can basically have a lot of books stored in here and it's basically on the go and i love this because it saves you a lot of space in the condo so i mean i've, I've always loved reading the physical books but there's been a lot of books that i've been wanting to get my hands on but it's not available in the usual national bookstore or fully booked and i've been so frustrated because i just wanted to read these highly recommended self-help books about personal development about finance about habits and finally i was able to get them online so instead of me like watching hours of netflix which is 
not the best thing ever and not the most productive thing. I like to bring this out and just have it with me. So just to let you know, the book that I've been wanting to get my hands on is The 4-Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris because I've been getting a lot of good feedback about it. And I think now that we're in quarantine and we have limited stuff to do, I feel like it's the best time to get into reading. Plus, the great thing about this versus like reading on an iPad or your phone is that it doesn't have that blue light filter that usually isn't good for your eyes. So it's so much better for your eyes and it doesn't have that glare when it's like too bright or if it's at night you can easily adjust the lighting. There's just so many features that I love about this one. I'll link it below if you want to know more details about it. But basically I feel like I've been more inspired and motivated because I have all these books literally at the palm of my hand. Next is the reason why I'm able to stick to a workout routine and it certainly keeps me sane Especially you need to take care of your mental health. So it's all thanks to my yoga mat um, I bought since the start of quarantine last year and it's been holding up pretty well So I've been getting into bar classes and yoga classes on my favorite aloe yoga app and this yoga mat is basically what I've been using to work out almost every single day. I bought it from Decathlon online, although it took some time to get to me. Um, I would say that it is one of the firmest yet softest yoga mats I've found because I've tried quite a number of yoga mats and my problem is that when I do knee exercises, my knees just give up because my yoga mat is just not soft and it's not supporting me enough. So I love that it has the right amount of thickness and it's also not as expensive versus other yoga mats that can do the same thing but can be pretty expensive. The only con to this is that I don't exercise using my rubber shoes on this because when it creates friction on the surface, it does this weird peeling thing and basically parang namamalat yung yoga mat and it just creates a mess. So I had a previous yoga mat from the Decathlon. It kind of does the same thing but because it's affordable, because I like that it's super soft and it does what I need to do, I stuck with it. So what I do is just I don't um, use my rubber shoes on it so when I do have some like jumping exercises or I know I'm gonna do like some plank jacks or something I just don't wear rubber shoes anymore so the thing is I've gotten used to um, doing my workouts barefoot anyway so it's a win-win for me at the moment so the great thing about being alone is that you can blast your speakers as loud as you want no one's gonna judge you if you want to listen to BTS or Justin Bieber do whatever you want so I love this adorable small little thing it's like half of my face it's super small and this is basically the speaker that I bring with me from the kitchen when I'm cooking when I go to the bathroom and I do my skincare routine or I take a bath and yes I am that person who likes to listen to music while you're taking a bath it just puts me in the right mood in the morning like I am ready to conquer and do what I want all you need to do is just press the power button in this thing and then it immediately connects to your Bluetooth if you've already like set it up initially it just makes that sound to signal that's already fully connected to your phone. It's super easy. I've gotten used to it. That's why I like playing upbeat music in the morning to put me in a good mood. And then towards at night after work, I like to listen to chill music to keep me relaxed and distressed for the day, you know? I also love listening to podcasts while I'm like doing the dishes or doing my skincare routine. It's just like creating your own vibe that you want. And if you're living alone, it's like you do what makes you happy. Next is, I just wanna share that even if you are living in a small space just like me in a 32 square meter condo, I feel like it's still super important to have a water bottle beside you at all times. I've been loving my Hydro Flask lately, so I bring it with me to the kitchen. I bring it to me here while I'm like reading in the living area or before I go to sleep, I have my water bottle near my bed. When I work out, it's like right beside me. So it just encourages me to stay hydrated. I don't think I need to tell you that you need to drink enough water in a day because right now, guys, sobrang pinapawisan na ako. Like, paminsan hindi naman ako gumagala, pero bakit ako pinapawisan from head to toe? It's now more important than ever for you to stay hydrated and have water beside you at all times. So if you guys want to know more about condo living, then remember you can download the PDF below which includes the cost of condo living based on my experience. Also, you can check out this video where I talk about how I enjoy the perks of living alone. And I will see you there.